Oh, I didn't turn my hat backwards. <laughs> Should I just wear it forwards the whole time? I think maybe I'll just wear it forwards the whole time because I, I forgot to turn it backwards and now it's annoying. So we're just dealing with the shadow over my eyes. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Down the Long Hills. Down the Long Hills is a 1986 Disney Channel premiere film. It is directed by Burt Kennedy, cinematography by Reed Smoot, editing by Warner E. Layton, music by Mark Snow, and it's written by Ruth and John Pavar. Based off a book of the same name by Louis L'Amour, Burt Kennedy is best known for The War Wagon, The Trouble with Spies, Combat, and Young Billy Young. Reed Smoot, I covered in the video about Lots of Luck. The link will be in the description. Warner E. Layton is best known for Gone in 60 Seconds. Seconds, the Trouble with Spies, Inspector Gadget, and Battle of the Planets. Mark Snow I covered in the video about the girl who spelled freedom. The link will be in the description. And this is the only credit for John and Ruth Pavar. Down the Long Hills by Louis L'Amour was published in 1968. I couldn't find anything about the plot, really. I read someone's review about the book and I thought it would have a plot summary, but it did not. So that was rude. And any plot summary I found was pretty much the same story, except for the fact that the boy and the girl... Hardy and Betty Sue were much younger in the novel. In the novel, they're seven and three. And in the movie, they're easily like 12 and six or in that zone because they are not seven and three. The film stars Bruce Boxleitner, Thomas Wilson Brown, Lisa McFarlane, and Jack Elam. Bruce Boxleitner I covered in the video about Tron. The link will be in the description. Thomas Wilson Brown plays Hardy and is best known for Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, Pearl Harbor, Silverado, and Knott's Landing. Lisa McFarlane plays Betty Sue and is best known for Urban Rush, Promised Land, The Rush, and this. Jack Elam plays Squires and is best known for Once Upon a Time in the West, The Cannonball Run, Kiss Me Deadly, and Kansas City Confidential. This film is about Hardy and Betty Sue, who survive, they're the only two survivors, when their camp, traveling west, is absolutely demolished and killed. Betty Sue's parents are murdered. At least she doesn't see that. You see the dead bodies on screen. You don't get to see them get murdered, thank goodness. And they must survive and travel west toward Hardy's dad, Scott, Bruce Boxleitner. And um, it's kind of about their survival. Scott and Squires find out that they're probably alive and start making their way toward them. So it's really like how each group is gonna survive until they finally reunite. It's fine. Hardy's mother is also passed away and they mention that on screen as well as Betty Sue's parents dying in the film. That is a whopping three parent deaths in the movie. Not just one, not just two, but three. Slowly racking it up, friends. The movie itself is fine. I was expecting it to be so boring because Disney's history with Western movies is hit or miss, no in between. It is either garbage or it's really good. And this was right in between. They actually landed a zone where I was entertained. I wasn't really ever bored, but it just wasn't super my cup of tea. I'm really picky about Westerns. I don't like just anything. I really loved the kid. Thomas Wilson Brown was really good in this film. He carried the movie as far as I'm concerned. Bruce Boxleitner is also very good, but he's just not in the movie as much as Thomas Wilson Brown. And uh, him and Betty Sue were adorable. They were really good in this movie. I think they carried the film. The movie itself was fine. Probably about average. And that's really all I have to say. Overall, the movie was average. I was expecting it to be a lot worse, so I'm really pleased that it was entertaining throughout the entire film, but it was a little repetitive and they were running from the same things. So, and it took forever to reunite the family. So I do think it's about average. I'm going to give it five stallions out of 10. Our total movie count is... Our parent death toll is... <laughs> Cry count is still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll show you are so you do. And don't be the two horse stealers about it. They were scary. <laughs> Yo, Hillary Clinton was in my movie. 